Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows. We're doing another question and answer video for you guys. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we're back with videos again. You know, I told you once every few days we're going to be uploading a video. So if you have any comments, theories, questions, or ideas, for new videos like this, please be sure to comment them below. Also go over to the community tab right now where you can post for the next Q&A video like this. So if you want to be featured in one of the videos, go send in your ideas. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into this. The first question comes from John Ducetti or something like that. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong on YouTube who asks, since she didn't come back for the 100th episode, do you think we will ever see Cat Grant again? So that is a good question because, yeah, Cat Grant didn't come back for the 100th episode. I guess it's because Callista didn't want to come up to Vancouver. As you guys know, Callista was in season one as Cat Grant. They filmed in LA for season one because it was on CBS and they could afford to shoot down in LA. And then when it moved to the CW for season two, Supergirl moved up to Vancouver to shoot. And that is the reason why many of the characters in season one didn't come back because the actors didn't want to commit to living in Vancouver all year round when, you know, most actors do tend to live in Los Angeles and it's easy for them to film. So Callista hasn't come up many times. She came up a few times after she left the show after season one, but she didn't come back for the 100th episode. So we were kind of expecting her to maybe come back, but at the same time, we know her track record of coming up to Vancouver is very slim. So I would say there's still a slim chance that she shows up definitely before the show eventually ends. I don't know when that will be. I would say it's pretty likely that she shows up at some point because she was such a big character and she is such a beloved character that people are constantly asking the question, when is Cat Grant going to return? And the showrunners know that for a fact because... I've heard it at Comic Con and everything like that. They always get asked this question, but they don't know it's really down to Callista and when she wants to come up to Vancouver to shoot. I'm pretty sure she can come and, you know, be in any episode, to be honest. Like, she can just show up. So, I would say it's pretty damn likely she's going to show up someday. But yeah, I'm not sure as of right now what specific time frame, what season, what episode. Not sure. Alright, next question comes from Mega Wubba on YouTube who asks Hey, Ben. Crisis could set up the return of Arrowverse versions of Suicide Squad and Birds of Prey. So what do I think of this? I think this is interesting and, you know, we had the Suicide Squad in the past. They weren't able to continue with them due to the film. And obviously there's a new Suicide Squad film coming out, like a sequel. It's going to be quite different, but nevertheless it is Suicide Squad. So I'm saying it's pretty unlikely we're going to see them anytime soon to, you know, the films wanting to use those characters, and I guess they could form some sort of team-up, like, you know, Birds of Prey or something, or Suicide Squad, but they just don't call it that. They have a bunch of heroes teaming up, and they work together, you know, they're not necessarily good, they're kind of anti-heroes or villains teaming up to do something potentially good under the control of one person. Obviously, Amanda Waller's dead on the TV show, so... That's not going to be the case, but I guess post-Crisis anything could happen, and yeah, Crisis could set up the return of these characters like Deadshot. I don't think Deadshot's in the new Suicide Squad film, so they could bring back our version of Deadshot. They could bring back all of these different characters like Bronze Tiger. I don't think they're using him in the film. So, you know, you can bring back these characters, but I'm not sure they're going to necessarily call it the Suicide Squad anymore. And Birds of Prey... I think the closest thing we're going to get to Birds of Prey, we're not going to get the Birds of Prey because, you know, you've got that in the films right now, is definitely Green Arrow and the Canaries. That is the closest that we're going to get. And, you know, is a great team up, and I really hope that show actually gets picked up because it's a spin-off of Arrow. And it would be really nice to see Mia, you know, Dinah and Laurel teaming up together again in their own TV show. So I would say post-crisis, we're not going to get anything called Suicide Squad or Birds of Prey. You're going to have different offshoots of that potentially. All right, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Annie Whitney on YouTube who asks, when will Iris get pregnant with Nora? Will it be next season? Since they changed the outcome of Crisis, will that change Nora? Like, will she end up being a boy? That would be kind of funny, she says. 
Okay, so good question, Annie. And I would say, yes, Iris is going to get pregnant sometime in the next few years with Nora. So the next few seasons, I would hazard the guess. Unless Crisis has completely changed it, meaning that Iris won't be pregnant for a long time and Nora doesn't exist in the future. I'm pretty sure if we ever see Nora again, she's going to be like a different version of herself. Maybe she will eventually become that same version of Nora we knew. But that doesn't mean that she's going to be born at the same time. She's going to, you know, be the exact same person. So I would say if it's pre-crisis, I'm saying she's going to get pregnant in the next few years. So in the next few seasons, so like season 7, 8, I'd probably guess 8, maybe 9. And that would be around the time I would say that might happen. Might happen over the summer or something, over the summer break, so that they can just reintroduce it. But I don't know if they want like a kid on the show, like a baby. Because they do tend to prefer when these characters are older. So that's why you have that older version of Nora coming back from the future. Maybe that's the case. Maybe we'll see Nora come back from the future. She'll be all different. I don't think it's going to be next season. It's going to be anything. I think it's going to be season 8 or 9. And then you will see the outcome of Crisis. And would it have changed Nora? I think there is a high chance that Nora has changed. She's definitely not going to be the same if you ever see Nora again. But, you know, will she end up being a boy? I think there is a possibility that she doesn't end up becoming Nora Allen. There is a chance she becomes Dawn Allen. And there's a chance, you know, there's the Tornado Twins. So, yeah, there is a possibility that she becomes a boy. But that would probably be like she would turn into Dawn Allen. And then, you know, she would have a brother called Don Allen. And they would be the Tornado Twins because that's been teased before. Dawn Allen has been teased in a different timeline, so I don't see why Crisis couldn't change their name or the fact that she has a brother or something like that. So I think the Tornado Twins is kind of like a thing that is probably going to come at some point. It's just a matter of when. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Dominica on YouTube who asks, Hey Ben, think that since Chris's project was delayed, talking about Chris Wood here, that of 30-something else, Mono could return for more than one episode. What do you think about that? So that's a good question, and this time I'm very excited to talk about Monel because I forgot about this, but recently the new show that Chris was supposed to be on, I'm obviously not excited that it didn't go through and didn't, you know, get that pilot done and it wasn't sent to series. Obviously that's a bad thing and I support Chris and I feel really terrible that it never went through. However, it's a fact that 30 something else, this new TV show that he was working on, isn't going to be happening. And this was one of the reasons why Chris would be busy and there was no chance he would return for Monel for more than like a small little cameo if he's in Vancouver. So with this show not happening, I think as far as I can remember, the only thing that Chris has got going on right now is the show with Kevin Smith, the edited show, I forgot what it was you have to remember voice acting takes a lot less time so Chris is gonna be around so I think your question is very relevant right now and I think there is a high chance that Monel could return for more than one episode because he will be around and the fact that you know Melissa and him are having a kid they're gonna have to be around each other a lot more so I'm saying maybe part of the year you know he's looking after the kid in Los Angeles or maybe they decide to all move to one place, maybe Vancouver, for like part of the year so that they can be parents together. Because Melissa's well, obviously still going to have to be shooting Supergirl in Vancouver. So I'm saying maybe he moves to Vancouver for a bit. That's just me guessing as to what they might do. Obviously, I'm, I'm not them. As parents, they can do whatever they please to do. But I'm guessing he's going to be a little bit more free, even though he's still going to have to look after their new child. So that's obviously going to be a big thing. So maybe he only shows up in a cameo, but there is more of a chance of him coming back. So that's about it for this video, guys. What do you think about all of this? I think these were some really good questions. I had a great time recording this video. So if you want to be featured in one of these videos, the next one, please be sure to go over to the community tab right now. Leave your topic, theory, idea, or question regarding the Arrowverse. If you want to be featured in one of these upcoming videos. Also, you can leave your ideas in the comments below. I read all the comments. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.